Oh, hey guys. Didn't see you there. As you can tell, I am doing a tutorial on how to apply face glitter for your next rave or your next music festival this summer. Um, a couple of you guys had asked me to do a tutorial. This is super simple. It took me under five minutes to do this. So if you wanna learn how to apply face glitter that's mess free and super, super easy and it feels lightweight on your face, then just keep watching. So to get started, I just wanna show you guys what I'm using. It's very few things, but I'm gonna be using tattoo wax in this video. This is just how I prefer to put my glitter on and it stays on all day long. I've worn this to Ultra, to EDC, to Izu. Look at all the glitter in here. Can you see all the glitter? Um, it's just this like really nice like waxy texture. Um, it's translucent. There's no color to it. Um, and it just acts as a really great base for the glitter to stick to. So I really, really love tattoo wax. I personally got these from um, one of my tattoo artists, but you can probably find it on Amazon. You can also use Aquaphor or Vaseline. I love these little mini ones. I'll just throw this in my bag for festivals. It's super easy, tiny to travel with. So I'll use this in the video as well, just so you can see how to apply with both. And the glitter today that I'm using, I'm using a really tiny loose pigment. This is the shade White Gold. I really like this combo. Um, I'm also using a bigger loose glitter. This is from Michaels, and it's like an iridescent, um, champagne-y, silvery pink. So I'm gonna use these two together. So just have a towel in my lap just in case this gets a little messy your hands are going to get very messy but for the most part we're going to try and keep this mess free i'm actually going to put a highlighter on because you know it's actually like the end of the day i'm feeling pretty crusty right now so all my highlight kind of came off so i'm going to use the ofra highlighter in beverly hills it's this little wheel this is a morphe brush a morphe m m510 i love this highlighting brush this is so pigmented be careful going with a light hand but as a base underneath everything, I kind of want to like start my glow off. So I'm going to dip into these lighter shades up here. There's a ton of kickback. <laughs> See that powder? And I'm just going to apply that to the tops of my cheekbone and a little bit above my eyebrow. Such a pretty glow. It's gorgeous. I like to put the um, smaller glitter down first and then put the chunkier glitter on top. But with the tat wax, what I do is I just get a little on my um, on my ring finger. And what you need to do, this is a key, you need to tap it on your skin. In no circumstance do you rub because tat wax and aquaphor will take your makeup right off. So I'm going to kind of apply it here and here, sort of um, where my highlight was. So here and here today, people do it under their eye. People do like all different kind of cool patterns. But for the most part, this is how I do it. And you can see it get a little bit wet. So I'm going to apply it there first. It's like a generous amount. And I'm sticking my finger right into the loose pigment. That's why I have the towel under me. Just tapping it on and I still have tie wax on my finger so it like sticks to wherever I put it like are you serious how sick does that look it I just think with the tat wax personally it just blends so easily and it look it's like does not feel heavy whatsoever that's a good thing I like about the tat wax um, now, if you w don't want to ruin your tat wax, which I don't care at this point, you could use like another finger. But I'll go in with more and I'll put more tat wax up here, sort of like towards my hairline. And I'll go in with more. And then I'll fade it out. I want like the densest part of the glitter to be right here in the corner. And then I'm going to fade it out into my hairline. So that's looking sick as hell. Okay, that's enough of that. So now I'm going to show you how to put on the thicker glitter with the aquaphor. So I'm going to use like a tiny bit, not that much. And I'm focusing again like the most of the glitter here because I want it to like fade out as it goes towards like the inner part of my face. So I'm going to take the aquaphor and I'm just going to pat it again. Aquaphor will remove your makeup way more than the tat wax will, so just like be very gentle. I'm just taking my loose glitter with my finger. This will be a little bit messier, so you can hit some off. 
and I just personally just pat it right on like that. Um, and like I said, I've worn this to so many festivals and it stays on the entire time, like no problem, no questions asked. Sweat proof, dance proof, anything proof. And yeah, there you have it. I love this like color combo together. I think it's so reflective. You can really see it at night. Um, so like my fingers a mess, so that's what the towel's for. Fold that up nice and neat and no mess. We're all Gucci. I'll go a little bit more up close so you can see. Then if you want, I would spray your face with a setting spray. Um, the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray is great. Um, the Smashbox Pri Primer Water I use a setting spray. Milani Make It Last from the drugstore. I think NYX has a mattifying spray from the drugstore that's super cheap. Um, that'll just lock everything in place. That is it. It's super simple. Really, really easy. That is how I personally apply my um, face glitter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe below so you don't miss out on any of the fun content I have coming up. I got a lot of stuff coming up before festival season, so definitely don't forget to subscribe. Please leave me any um, video suggestions that you guys have. I saw your comments about wanting to have a face glitter one, so that is why I'm here doing this for you people. My social media is down in the description box if you want to follow me there. I'm trying to up my Instagram story game right now, so you know, try and follow along with me. I'm also posting all of the shows that I'm going to. Right now I'm signed up for Griffin and Carl Cox and the Chainsmokers in the New York City area this summer. Um, let me know what you guys are buying tickets to. I'm curious to see what shows you guys are attending. See you guys in the next video. Have a good week. Bye.